Well, we made it back from Texas, and we're no longer in the desert. As you can see, it's raining. Welcome back to Arkansas. <laughs> and welcome back to another daily scuttlebutt with Ivy's Family Factotum. So we spent a week down in Texas, uh, basically between San Antonio and then uh, Eagle Pass. And then obviously when we were down in Eagle Pass, we also went down into Mexico a couple days, you know, just to, just like a day trip, you know, just to go down for the, the shopping type stuff. Cause that's actually where dad is from. And, um, obviously, you know, he was able to visit with friends and, and stuff and just go to some of his old hangouts <laughs> and things as we were shopping and stuff because he, he doesn't always like to do the, the shopping thing but and he he was already planning on on possibly staying at down in texas for a few weeks you know just to be able to to do some jobs and and some work that you know one of his friends was you know needing help with so uh, the it was always the thing was accommodations of where's he gonna stay you know, for the the cheapest amount, basically, right? You know, because yes, uh, there is you know family in the area, <coughs> but you know how family gets. You know, some someone comes to to visit, and you get the the stay in a long time. It, it, it's kind of one of those, yeah, hey, I think you've like overstayed your welcome type thing, right? But that's okay. That's that's all part of it, right? So I, I do believe that you know you found a, a place to build to stay. You know that doesn't cost nothing, and uh, be able to get some work done, get some some uh, spending money into his pocket, and and such. Because just until you know he he can find some stuff here locally. Because yes, mom and dad are retired pretty much right they, they they're on a uh, social security disability so to be able to to work right if you're going to work you have to be under a certain amount so they can't really work you know a nine to five you know type a 40 hour gig because they make too much and then they'd lose their social security disability that they need right because uh, they they have enough stuff going on you know with their health wise that they need that so, um, not trying to, to jeopardize that with, you know, uh, a larger type income. So, but dad still likes to work. He still likes to get out and do scrapping. He still likes to do, um, some of the different stuff, you know, he's great at land clearing. As you can see, if you haven't seen, you need to go back and watch some of these videos <coughs> that... Uh, with uh, all this land clearing and, and such that we've been doing here. Uh, majority of that is, you know, dad's leadership of, hey, doing it this way or doing it that way. And uh, a lot of it is is him doing it. So, but we we do have all the areas cleared that need to be cleared for home building. We still have a, a few issues, you know, in like where the gathering house is going to be with stumps. So I, I'm going to start looking up, you know, ways to eradicate stumps other than, you know, just drilling a hole in it and burning it, you know, and to be able to, cause I, I do need to cut them a little closer to the ground. That way we're able to, I just want to build over it. Cause obviously I'm not going to be able to get a backhoe here anytime soon. Right, obviously the the backhoes that are within our our YouTube community here locally are already being used elsewhere, or they broke down, or or anything. They're awaiting parts or, and stuff like that. So when it comes to that, I'm just gonna need to hire. Right, I would need to hire someone to to do backhoe work, and right now it's just not in the budget. Now I'm I'm all for bartering. Right, <laughs> if if, uh, I, I'd never expect anything for free, right? 
anybody that's going to come here, including Drew or anything like that, anybody that's going to come here, you know, to, to work utilizing a backhoe, it's not free labor, right? I offer up stuff from the blacksmith shop where I am more than ready to go and help with any project anywhere, you know, within the, the local area. So <coughs> it has nothing to do with, Hey, I, I want you to come to here and do this. And then, all right, thanks. Bye. No, that, that's not what community is about, right? It's about helping each other going and doing this stuff. Um, uh, and helping out where you can with what you can, but I know the equipment is expensive, right? The upkeep is expensive. Diesel is expensive. All those things are expensive, and I get that. I understand, right? Plus, I'm pretty sure, you know, some some folks are still making payments on some of these pieces of equipment. You know, so it, it just, it gets, you know, to be pricey. And, hey, you can't, you know, make a living or you can't, you know, pay off stuff on a barter system. So I understand. I get it. Ah, I gotta drink some of my coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet this morning. I would say it's nice and rainy though, man. And uh, the dogs have been taken good care of. So once again, thanks, Mike, over at Dog Man, uh, for taking care of the, the pups. Uh, I think uh, Lilu's had. Well, I, I haven't physically went out and looked at him yet. But I know because the girls, right? Uh, Anix is the one that takes care of the dogs. And then Gladys in the morning goes out and takes care of the dogs in the morning during school week, right? So I haven't physically seen them yet. But she's like, she's like Lilo's looking really healthy. Because <laughs> I know uh, Mike was giving him a lot of snacks, you know, some milk bone biscuits and some different stuff, you know, other than just dog food, which is fine. You know, it's, it's good. But <laughs> she's like, she's looking really healthy. So, yeah, I think he's trying to get our dogs fat. But that's all right. <clears throat> so what's on the agenda now that we are back? So as you see, I'm sitting in the playhouse. This is definitely on the agenda because this is the building that we already have here. It's a place that people can sleep whenever they come to visit, but it still needs electric and it still needs to be insulated. And then the walls finished off. So rain a little harder that you probably hear. I hear thunder in the background. <coughs> so this is definitely one of the rooms that's going to be finished. So we've already had electric company come and look you know at this building to give a quote to because that was still part of the package from uh make-a-wish foundation was they were providing the playhouse along with the electrical and right it, it's it's basically like a finished project so he came out and looked well for the areas that that were wanting the, the plugs because if if we're gonna ha have the plugs installed we needed to have the plugs where we needed to be for the things that we want to be in here right so between air conditioning units tvs plugs you know for other uh, items that are going to be in here uh, i don't want them just coming and install a panel a light switch one light and one plug right it's it's going to be that hey i i need this stuff plus not only are they doing that they're also going to be trenching to where the power is so with that he came out and did an estimate and the estimate came out to be that costs more than the actual playhouse itself <coughs> but we're we were so the cost estimate was for nine plugs so it's it's to have a panel installed, either interior or exterior, whichever one's the cheapest, didn't matter. Nine plugs to include a 220 for their air conditioning unit, right? Because we, we want to do it. It's one of the smallest mini splits that you can get because we want something that has both air and heat in one unit, right? 
and then something that can just be uh, the unit that normally is outside would just be attached to the actual shed itself, right? So it's, and we can get those, you know, down in Mexico. Dad can get those down in Mexico for super cheap, right? So that that's all we're we're looking at at getting. So right now they're in process of getting another estimate for the work. All right, before we can get the insulation put in, before we can do, you know, drywall, all that stuff. So, but this is still on the agenda to, to get this done before we have more family coming to visit because this is where a lot of them stay, right? Whenever they come to visit. And now that it is gonna be getting warmer, right? It'll be super hot in here instead of super cold like it was. <clears throat> now, Septic is always still on the agenda, you know, trying to get that, that done, starting to get some materials and then getting foundations, right? I, I need to go ahead and start getting some foundation materials uh, for the gathering house build. So that, that's everything is, that's what's on the, so I don't want to cut myself short because right now the only funds I really have available is from my taxes, right? Because obviously we <clears throat> we took our income taxes, we split them down the middle, we used half of that, a little more than half of that to to go on the vacation. So that, that was part of it. But obviously what was planned kind of changed, so we ended up having to spend a little more than really I wanted to. And so, but, and that's what I said, that, that was all part of the funding for the builds, right? So talk with talking that over, right? Kinda, <laughs> we made a decision to say, oh, all right, well, this, this money that's being spent is for the build. Now it's being spent on the vacation. So that's going to take away from something that we can do here. And that's okay. But it's also, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, funds are still limited for the next few months. Because we still have obviously the, the meetup, right? We're we're still going to the meetup. That that's already been paid for, but we're still going to the meetup over in Oklahoma, over at Lake Ten Killer. That's still on the agenda. So to do that, we want to be able to take the, the other trailer, even though it's not fully done, we still want to be able to take that and be able to put the, the beds and stuff in there because we can always set up, you know, the, the bunk bed <clears throat> for the girls and then have, you know, air beds and stuff like that underneath it. We we have a, a traveling toilet that we can take with. Uh, we have, you know, the, the portable tank, you know, for dumping that we can take. You might hear mom's birds in the background. We actually brought them back with us too. Um, they had the blanket over them, so they should be sleeping, but... Um, we we have other stuff that we want to do, but before we can do that, right? It, for one, it all depends. It, Dad's probably still going to be in Texas, so he has the truck that would be able to pull that trailer, even though he does not have the electronic brake controllers. I don't think. Plus, he still have he's still having issues with his uh, electronics, you know, for trailer lights and stuff like that. So. My truck is still down. So I know I've already talked with Gary over at Junk the Gyms. He's still planning on coming to, to check this out. And with dad not being here, because that, that was kind of be kind of the thing was dad takes it apart. Gary helps with the, the timing chain stuff because he has the tools and the know-how, right? Dad has the know-how, but he doesn't have the tools. And then once he fixed the, the timing chain stuff, then dad was going to put everything back together. Well, now dad's not here, so <laughs> I still need my truck, right? So I've already talked with Gary and I I'm told him that I'm willing to pay him. Uh, I'm not going to discuss, you know, the, the amount of payments or anything like that. But I said, I will be willing to pay you if you can get this thing back together. Um because before, you know, I, I was just going to give him, you know, some, some beer and, and some food in his belly, you know, just to come over and, and hang out and do the time of chain. 
but with having to do everything that's a little more involved, right? <laughs> so I, I'm willing to throw some some pocket change. Well, more pocket change, but I'm really I'm ready to send some money his way because they need it too. <clears throat> too. Too. Wow. I guess I'm hitting puberty. <laughs> But they need it too for their down payment and stuff like that over on their property that they finally found. So that's awesome. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, just know that the, the three main projects that we have on our agenda right now is Playhouse, Septic, Gathering House. Those three things, right? At every single cent that I can throw to these three things, I, that's what I'm going to be doing. So that's getting some materials here via truck that's going and getting some materials uh, from you know, the, the big city whatnot. But once again, I do not have my trailer. My trailer is still with Mama V over at Possum Run Homestead. I don't have a truck that I can pull that trailer because dad's not here. And I have this, the little utility trailer that we can always use now that that's fixed up. Uh, but I can only put a limited amount of weight in that, right? I can't put an entire pallet worth of lumber. So if I'm going to have lumber coming delivered, right, I can always do that, but that's an additional cost. That's like an additional almost $100 to have that delivered. So that, that's where it kind of comes down to, hey, you know, a, a call out to the community to say, hey, I, I need a truck that can go pick up my trailer. I, I need assistance with a truck to go pick up some materials. And yeah, that, that's what it's going to come down to. So well, once we're ready for that, if I don't have my truck ready back yet, Gary's still going to come check it out uh, this week. Uh, he was hoping he can come by today to just look at it. But I don't think it's going to happen with this rain and weather that's going on. So... But anyway, we definitely appreciate y'all. Glad to be back. You know, sometimes going on vacation is, is you need a vacation from your vacation. <laughs> but we definitely appreciate you guys for sticking with us. And so, uh, yeah, Gladys will be, you know, with us more, a little more often. She just, uh, she wasn't up to it this morning. So, but we do thank you. Make sure you're getting out there and you're thanking a veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day. And we will see you tomorrow. Later, y'all.